Hey, what's going on? My name is Robo Dessert, and today I'm going to show you how I take my Twitch clips and re-edit them into a TikTok video format. This method might vary slightly depending on which video editing software you'll be using, but the overall process should be fairly similar. For my editing, I use Premiere Pro, so that's what you'll be seeing in this video. And with that out of the way, let's dive in. For my examples, I'll be using real clips, which I'll post to my actual TikTok, so I can kill two birds with one stone. Work smart, not hard. To begin, just download your clip from Twitch and import it into your timeline. At this point, I prefer to do all of my trimming and cutting so I can edit with the original feel of the clip in its original format. And as you edit, keep in mind that TikTok states the maximum length for a video on their platform is 60 seconds. However, I've had TikTok clip off the end of some videos that were just under 60 seconds. So for safety, if you're editing together multiple clips or editing down a longer highlight, you may wanna aim for around 58 to 59 seconds in total length. Once you have your clip edited down, you're going to open settings for your sequence or timeline. In Premiere, this is under Sequence, Sequence Settings. From here, you're going to change the sequence resolution size to 1080 by 1920, basically the inversion of a normal 1080p video. Now, if you look back at your timeline, you'll see that the shape of your video has flipped and your clip will appear smaller in your preview. From here, just go back to your timeline and duplicate the video layers of all of your clips. Now, depending on what you want to showcase in your clip, you can edit everything down into a few different ways. For the first option, you'll take your upper layer of video and resize and crop it so that just your camera is focused on on the top of the screen. Then, resize the bottom layer of video so that it focuses on the gameplay you want highlighted. From here, you can copy and paste settings from your upper layer to all the following clips in the timeline and repeat for the bottom layer. Now all of your video is uniform. This method allows you to enlarge and focus on both your camera and your gameplay simultaneously. This type of format works best when you want to focus on one part of your gameplay but also show your camera at the same time. If you instead want to focus on the entire frame or you only need to show one part of your clip, you'll want to go with option two. For this method, resize the top layer so that your main subject is within view, and then just take the bottom layer of video and expand it underneath the upper layer so it fills the screen. Then, add a simple blur effect. This will allow you to focus on the clip without having blank black space in the background. I also like to add a drop shadow to the top layer of video to make it pop a little bit more. And, like before, copy and paste the settings onto the remaining clips in the timeline so they're all uniform. From here, you can add your Twitch URL or other text above or below the centered clip. Regardless of which method you use, I highly recommend adding captions to your video here in your editing software instead of on TikTok, as the in-app methods for captioning on TikTok are rather tedious and overall frustrating, at least at the time of this was recorded. And those are the two main methods that I use to take Twitch clips and reformat them into a TikTok video. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Either way, you have a great day.